swarm up with. <clears throat> that's um, that's just solid take, you know. Like yeah. in the studio, I'd be like, "Let's do it again," and then I'd say, "Let's do it again," and then later we pick out of those three, right? Yep. That kind of process. Sound good? Yep. Or if we got like the tempos matched up real fine, there's so much that you know can be done. I like that idea of recording, like tracking, in other words, right? Do multiple takes and then choose. Um, since I'm in this game, let's go ahead and do, uh, let's start with the lotus, all right? So that I'm not tempted to do stylistic as fuck, right? You know what I mean? Because that's what I'd be tempted to do. So. Starting with the lauded, I do want to start with the solo, all right? Okay. So just imagine if we're going straight into the solo, like when you count it in, I'm going to go straight into that solo. So just imagine, you know, okay. and then uh, I'll do the quiet, you know, introduction to where we get but I will do the, uh, the traditional, the lauded, quiet finger picking stuff after the first uh, verse. You know, fade to green, fade to black bullshit. Right. I'll get to the traditional way we used to do the lauded, all right? With the clean finger, flat pick. Okay. All right, so I'm ready. Uh, wait, I got my volumes turned down. I'm going to start with the rat. I got the full tone for some warble and I got the delay so I can have some extra, you know, spilly doos. And um, we're going to give this, I'm going to give my all uh, full tone a shot. Because it's super overdrive. Alright, so whenever you get the, the, get, the go ahead, you're going to go ahead.
good enough for the girls you go out with. That's right. That's true. <laughs> That's true. I go out with a very um, low class of a woman. I prefer it that way. <laughs> I'll marry somebody richer than me, though. Alright, uh, we're gonna go into, uh, stylistic. Yeah, I'm still getting a little bit of impudence problems. I'm gonna have to ask some advice. From guess who? Who who do I ask advice from? From Huh? From people? Yeah, impedance advice. Who would it be that I ask advice from? Two out of two people. Well, both of them. Paul and Seth. Those are my go-to guys. Yep. Yep. Let's tell y'all about it. Yep. And you know the interwebs in general. Maybe it's because I the thought the Bible will tell you all about impedance. Yeah, I know, I know. Right but the Bible will tell me that it's because of full tone pedals. Because Mike uh, uh, full tone, he's going to good. hell. He's going to hell for talking mad smack about COVID people, uh, right? And the whole world lined up against him and bitch slapped him into having to retire. Uh, Mike Fuller, and he had a bunch of employees too, and all he did was state his honest opinion, which I agree with actually. So if you uh, if you come at me with your eco hippie, rock and roll millennial bullshit, um, if you prefer me to call you, you identify with what? I'll call you that. I identify with King. So I want you to call me King. Kevy Kev. Alright? Yep, I know I'm talking shit. And I know it'll get me in trouble. But it's worth it. Yep. Stylistic. Oh, on your... Hey. On your one.
day. All night, all day, we go, 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 oh, Strumbo. Because that's our, uh, I don't want to keep reaching the, uh, you know, back and forth from down to them songs. You mind? Oh, Strumbo? All right. Because, you know, in the drop, t whole iron, slight key, grunge, tuning, whatever you want to call it. Uh, drop D tuning, drop D style tuning. I only down tune the low string from C in my case to D. I mean uh, B flat. And I do it like buzzo by ear.
That right there is perfect for some jackass who likes to play in um, C minor pen, you know, in C standard. Get your hot licks out and jam along to that outro, bro, right? Who gets to do that? Man, that's fun as hell, you know what I'm saying? I want to do that sometime. I want to be the one that fucking gets to jam on the cool riffs. I can jam. I got licks. Hello. Hello. I'm waiting on the good word from the good man. Okay, that's the good word. So this is the session closer this fine Sunday. And I imagine movie time will comprise of this song, 23, and one from previous uh, days this month. All right. 23, we're fixing to get salty.
loves you. <laughs> you didn't choke, bro. Ralph. Did you throw up? You're not choking. I didn't choke, did I? No, I did. No, I did. no you didn't. I did really. You didn't choke. I choked up again. You'll be able to hear it. I can never remember when it's the end. It's going to be the end. Oh, for me. it's uh, eight just, bars, right? I know, but I'm just saying, I'm, fucking, I'm always daydreaming at that point. <laughs> it's because, uh... I don't think oh, about something else on that salt. Hey, you're on that salty sea, right at the bow, right? He's <laughs> ready for that. <laughs> you know, it's because of the um, nature of a fast song in triplets. That's why I call it a salty seafaring song. <clears throat> the what? Don't, don't take you? off running. Oh, hey, but we didn't. Yep. That's what rehearsal. On has done for Stays us. Stays right in that pocket. Right yes, there. sir. Yes, sir. And uh, I can't state it enough that it's the uh, rehearsals that have done that for us. Definitely. Yep. So, uh, yep, calling a couple of folks. I'm going to try P uh, Tea Garden again, and then I found uh, Lane Lawler's card in my wallet, so we'll see what happens. Here, we're going to book something soon. We're going to book a session soon, somewhere. All right? So, love, peace, and chicken grease. Have a happy Sunday.